Today's lunch is mini turkey corn dogs, steamed green beans, offering spar, and a choice of milk. During drop off and dismissal, we need to make sure we are not crossing the road. Uh, oh my God. Not crossing in the middle of the road because you might get hit by a car. Please use the crosswalks. We have complaints from parents that students are being unsafe during this time. Thank you. Make sure to have your mask above your nose. If you have your phone on you, make sure it's powered off and you put in the phone holsters. Make sure to get your yearbook. They're only $20. You can check Facebook, Twitter, and if you want more options, then they will cost you. Congratulations to the following Math Counts members who qualified to compete at our chapter competition Thursday, February 3rd in Woodhaven. Be sure to wish them luck. Elmer Grant, Lucas Schmelder, Emma Jordan, Annabella Beattie, Devin Billick, Ben Keast, Alia Welzer, and Owen Cleveland. Third Plaza opens after school until 3.30. Math Count meets until 3.45. PBS Club meets before school 8.10 to 8.40. Sixth Grade Gamer Club meets until 3.45. Girls Basketball Home versus Davison. Games times are... 7th grade at 4 and 8th grade at 5. 6th to 8th graders interested in joining drama club meetings will start in February. Ms. Kovetsky and Ms. Powell will be finding the dates and time soon. Watch announcements for additional information. All right, girls. Any girls interested in playing soccer, whether you're in 6th, 7th, or 8th grade and you plan on playing at Wilson or at Roosevelt next year, Coach Stevens, varsity girls coach, is running soccer practices from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Tuesdays and Friday nights at the RHS gym. Uh, I know that we've had quite a bit showing up already every day, and uh, from everybody I've talked to, it sounds like they're having some fun. Please see Mr. Koneko if you have any other questions. If not, uh, just show up Tuesdays and Fridays. Have a good one. Hey, guys, this is for the 8th grade boys only. Any 8th grade boys who are interested in playing high school soccer at Roosevelt next year? Thursday, February 24th, there's going to be an informational meeting. Come out and meet the coaches, and it'll last about 10 minutes right after school in the cafeteria. Uh, please see Mr. Koneko if you have any other questions. Thank you. Hello, children. We are having a salsa fundraiser for the Super Bowl. I'm sure you saw it in the morning announcements. The winner, whoever sells the most salsa, gets one of these lovely things. Maybe not exactly Harry Potter. Or, what is that, That's Wonder Woman? Woman? But it'll be a cardboard cutout of whatever that, whatever it is that you want. So it could be, could be Harry, could be Miss Sayre, could be Aaron Rodgers, or it could be me. That would be the best one. That's my but, best choice. Or it could be yourself. But you get to pick a cardboard cutout of whatever you want. So get out there, sell some salsa, Woo! tear it up. Salsa's the best. And be Harry Potter. The fundraiser ends January 28th. Hey everyone, so here's a cool little video and you know, you wouldn't think it, but man, you really do learn a lot of problem solving skills in school, even in your phys ed classes. So let's go ahead and take a look at this wonderful video. And remember, if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. What if a problem with the blue wall right here is that it doesn't go all the way down. Yeah, right here. So once you play hockey with this wall, sometimes the hockey the hockey puck will go under there. But we we had a bunch of extra like a ton of extra mats. So we use these mats to create a small like, fence to um, block the ball from coming through. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for